another story time video. Um, and this was kind of somewhat suggested by Amber. Um, she originally wanted me to do like a, a stop motion. And I do want to do that. It's a cool idea. It's just I don't necessarily really have the energy for that right now. Um, I was thinking about it and kind of planning it last night. And I just kind of was like... Realize that uh, I should do it when I have a lot more energy and time to put into it. Because stop motions take a huge amount of time. Um, at least if you want to do them very well. Like if you want the outcome to be really nice. You know what I mean. But I thought, hey, I've never really told the story, like Paintra and Skull Dude's story. Which, by the way, uh, if you didn't catch it in maybe one or two... I don't know if I said it in another video, but on Instagram I did, like, say what his name was, like, I think once or twice. But Skull Dude's name is Neuro. Like, uh, like, um, you know, neurological, like, brain power. Like, I was kind of going with that. Um, and I will, I, I will say I was trying to find something other than Neuro, but for some reason that's what stuck. So, yeah, his his actual name is Neuro, not Skull Dude. And I'll probably put the spelling somewhere. But I thought I'd tell you, like, the story of, like, how... I'm gonna say, like, 3,000 times. Of how uh, Skull Dude and Paintra, like, I guess, met. And I think I've said before, I've always imagined them to be, like, in a school setting. So, that... Here, can I... Can I do this? And then you sit on the pillow, please. Can you, can you, can you do that? And, oh, good lord. Okay, I guess that's good. So she's back there and I'll hold him for now. But, um, yeah, I put them in a school setting. I don't know why I decided to choose that. I don't know if it was just I was thinking about their story when I got the school from Amber. But that's just kind of what happened. Um, but, uh, before I start on that, actually, let me kind of go into, like, who they are as people. Because you know how Monster High dolls are always, like, the daughter of, or the son of, such and such monster being, thing, whatever. Um, Painter is, like, the daughter of the painter. Daughter, quote, quote, daughter. Um... Basically, it was a painter that could turn thing like make things come to life, and she was one of his paintings that he made come come to life. So she's technically a painting. <laughs> um, so that's what she is, and who who she where she comes from, kind of. And he, Skull Dude, is the son of a painter, but um, it's not the same painter. Obviously, there's like thousands of art artists around the world, and all the other stuff. But, like, he's, like, the actual son. Like, he, he, he is a person. He was not, like, a painting that came to life. Um, obviously, he's dead and is a ghost now. But, you know, that's how I made him. Uh, so, yeah. That's kind of who, who they are and where they come from, like I said. And his pants are, like, falling off. But, yeah. Um, so... Yeah, I, I imagine them to be in a school setting, and I do, like, picture Paintra as being, like, really shy at first, because she, like, she's the new girl in school. It's kind of like a Frankie thing, like, if you guys know Monster High. Like, Frankie was new, and people were, I think people were mean to me, mean to her at first, and then, like, she got the friends that she got, and people were nice to her and stuff. I don't know. I don't know exactly how that goes, but... Anyway, that's kind of what happened. She she was new to the school. And, oh, for the love of God. He's being difficult. Um, because Painter's over there and I'm trying to hold him. Uh, so yeah. Uh, she was new at the school and stuff. And, and I plan to do this in like a photo story or something later. Um, it's just I thought I'd, I'd tell it because it's a story I've been wanting to tell for a while. Because I just haven't been able to do the photo story just because I'm... I got too much else going on. Um, so, like, you know, people were being 
I guess, mean to her. Like, she's people are picking on her because she's the new person in school. And, um... Uh, Skull Dude is a dude who's really smart. That's another reason why I kind of like the, the Neuro for his name. is because he is pretty smart. Um, it's just he likes to get in trouble and, you know, stuff like that. So... Um, he actually ends up being assigned to show her around the school, and that's kind of how they ended up meeting, and he helps her open up as a person more. She's not as, like, such a pushover. She doesn't let people just, um, you know, be mean to her for no reason. Like, she stands up for herself more when she starts, like, being around him at first, and then, um... You know, she is, I think, better for him. Because he starts, he stops getting in trouble a lot. He, he's not in trouble as much when they start being together. Um, which I don't know how exactly I'm going to put that um, whenever I do the story. Um, I did do a, a photo story where um, it was like their anniversary. And she gave him a pair of glasses. And um, he gave her this skeleton thing. Um, which, this came with Draculaura in some set, which I don't remember what it's called, but I thought it was so cute, and it didn't come with a bow, it's bow, it was missing, um, which was fine, because knowing me, I probably would have taken it out anyway, or I would have painted it or something, but I just put, like, the crossbones in her hair, in, it, in his head, because it's a boy, um, and I gave him this bracelet, which is, uh, just a, it's a monster high bracelet, but I, I'm using it as a bow tie for him. So it, it was initially a doll, and then Amber had commented it, or I don't know if she commented in the actual thing, or if she, w like we were talking and she said something, but she said it looks like their kid. It was like if they had a kid. And like, all I need to do is put some paint splatters on it, and yeah, it looks like they're having a kid. So, <laughs> I do eventually, though, hope that I can, like, do some type of wedding thing for them, like put him in a suit and put Paintra in a wedding dress, but I don't know how that would work, because I can't see Paintra in a white dress, like it would be have to be like some type of gothic thing if I was to do that, but anyway, sorry, I'm like rambling really bad today, I apologize, um, I'm also kind of out of it, don't know what it, like yesterday I was really 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 exhausted for some reason I kept falling almost falling asleep the entire day so I didn't really get much done so you know it's kind of been one of those random weeks I got a lot done in the beginning of the week but then today it's just or yesterday it was just not happening so I'm filming these two videos and stuff so that's good and I just rambled off again Anyway, so yeah, that's kind of how they met. Um, I like it. I'm I'm still planning on developing their story more. Um, eventually. Uh, like I said, I'm I, I'm just trying to. It's hard to like think more than what I've already had planned because pretty much that's as far as I got. Um, I think eventually, obviously, they would like, eventually start dating, and then. There'd be that photo story if you saw it on ans uh, Instagram, Instagram um, of their anniversary and stuff. So, yeah, I want. I hope they eventually are able to get married and stuff. Um, Skull Dude has has rings, although I don't know how I would put a wedding band on him because he has his two fingers are put together. Her hands are spread out, so it's gonna be fairly easy. But yeah. Um, I hope you guys liked that little tidbit of their, of their story. Um, I hope I can do more eventually. Hopefully this doesn't end up like any of my other story times where I'm like, here's the story, and then I just don't tell any more of it at all. But I can't, like with, with, uh, Alex's story, I have an excuse because I don't like telling the story if I don't have the doll in front of me. And with the Phoenix sisters, I just got sick of talking about the story. I actually got really bored with it fast. Um, although it does kind of end up going in with uh, Alex's story, but I'll probably tell more of it then um, when I'm actually 
when they're actually pregnant to his story, I guess. So, yeah, I know this was a little bit rambly, but this is, again, just to give you a little more information on them, because they are pretty much my mascots. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this rambly video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Say bye. I'm saying bye to ya. I'm crazy. I am crazy. I need to, like, I need to calm down and make a video that doesn't involve me losing my mind. I'll see you guys later. Bye.